Good morning from the Portuguese Camila. Uh, we often get questions about the best shoes to wear uh, for, on, on the Camino de Santiago. Well, um, uh, it's sometimes difficult to answer because it depends on which Camino you're going to walk, uh, what, which season you want to walk it. But so I decided to do a little trial and to wear three different pairs of shoes on the same Camino route. So I'm going to walk three days in different shoes. So I'm going to wear Gore-Tex hiking boots, I'm going to wear normal hiking shoes and the trail runners. And we'll, we'll see uh, which shoes, which pair of shoes works the best for me. And uh, I'm walking the Portuguese route, so uh, which means I'll probably get a lot of cobblestone surfaces like this and hot surfaces. And today I'm walking in my hiking shoes. It's quite a, it's quite a uh, long walk today, it's about 30 kilometers. So I hope uh, <laughs> my shoes and my feet will make it. I walked 10 kilometers after 30 kilometers, so one third is done for the day in my Merrill hiking shoes. Well, you can see it's, it's sunny, it's quite hot, it's around 20, 24, 25 degrees. And well, my feet are still fine. I mostly had a um, hot surface out of 10 kilometers. I think only two kilometers were on a, on a footpath. The rest was on, on cobblestones, the road and sidewalks. So, and yeah, I, I just, I forgot to say that I'm wearing a merino wool socks. Um, it's da Danish Endurance brand. Uh, well, I use them on several Caminos. I really, really like the, that brand. Yes, and well, I'm still fine. My feet are good. Not sweaty, not tired, not hurt, no blisters. So hopefully I'll uh, continue with this <laughs> um, all the way. And yeah, I just want to say that uh, most of the Caminos out of 10 Camino routes that I've walked, uh, I walked in, uh, in hiking shoes. Only two Caminos I walked in trail runners. And well, uh, one was a Portuguese Camino, we walked it the first time and I wore my trail running shoes and well, after walking for like a week or, or 10 days on the cobblestones, because we started in Lisbon and there the Camino goes through, through small villages and mostly walk on cobblestones, my feet were destroyed. So after that, I never walked again <laughs> uh, any Camino route in, in trail running shoes until uh, recently, the last Camino I walked it was the Camino de Gran Canaria, but it's more of a hiking route. So it was on, on food paths and it was it was really good. So uh, trail running shoes were fine. Yes, but uh, the main Camino routes on uh, I, I I prefer walking in, in, in my hiking shoes. I walked 20 kilometers in my metal shoes, and well, I I I, I can start feeling that my legs, my feet are getting tired. There's still not really sign of blisters and my feet are not sweaty. But yes, <laughs> I still have 10 kilometers to go and I had a 20 minute rest stop in the town at 15 kilometers. Yes, and well, I must say that it's, uh, it's been 90% of walking on, on, on surfaces like this, which I think makes my feet more tired. But yes, I still, I'm still good. <laughs> yeah, still strong. And I'm quite happy with, uh, with my shoes. Well, I finished my walk for the day. I've walked uh, around 30 kilometers in my Merrill hiking shoes. And well, it was, uh, it was good. I didn't uh, get any blisters. My feet are fine. My feet now are not sweating. I got all sorts of weather today. So I can see here my shoes. Well, I must say my feet are a bit tired, but well, it's normal. And well, I, I, I got all sorts of weather. It was, it was hot and it was raining. Well, and still perfect. No, no problems. The, and uh, the ground was quite difficult in my opinion, because my feet always get more tired when I walk on hot surfaces. Out of 30 kilometers, it was only maybe three kilometers on the footpath. The rest was on really hot surfaces on the cobblestones. Yes, so uh, um, I really like uh, walking in Camino in hiking shoes. So they, they always were good. And well, that's it. Uh, another good morning from the, from the Camino de Santiago. Today I'm walking a shorter day. Uh, it's only about 15 kilometers. 
and I'm wearing my Salomon Gore-Tex shoes. I've actually never walked any Camino in a, in a Gore-Tex shoes. I use them a lot hiking in the mountains, but never on the Camino. And well, I know many people say that they're too heavy and it's too hot. So that's why I decided to, to give it a try and to walk in my shoes and see how it goes. Today it's again, it's sort of partially sunny, partially cloudy. It's quite warm, it's over 20 degrees. And yeah, you can see again, I'm walking in Portuguese Camino, mostly cobblestones. Well, let's see how my Gorex -like shoes behave on the Camino de Santiago. I've walked eight kilometers on the Camino in my Gore-Tex shoes. Uh, well, all the time on, on the road, on the sidewalk, on the surface like this. And, well, my feet are still good. And I can't say it's, my feet are very hot. Not really. I can't say that my feet are hotter in, uh, in the Gore-Tex shoes than in, uh, in the hiking shoes. So the, not much of a difference that I can say, except that I used my hiking shoes recently quite a lot on the Camino and the Gore-Tex shoes are it's a little bit less comfortable for me to walk to wear them because I haven't uh, worn them in, uh, in two years. So it's basically the first time in two years that I wear these shoes, which is of course need some time to get used to. Walked 11 kilometers in my uh, Gore-Tex shoes on the Camino and now I hit those cobbles. And if you walk in Portuguese Camino, you will get this, the, such surfaces quite a lot, especially on the central route. Yeah, and well, that was the reason we had a really tough time walking from Lisbon in our trail running shoes, because after a week, our feet were destroyed, we had a lot of blisters. And yeah, we had to stop somewhere in Decathlon and buy hiking shoes. I'm done walking for the day and I walked uh, only 15 kilometers, which is really uh, not much for, for the Camino. But today I walked in my Gore-Tex shoes. So what can I say? Um, uh, I, I don't see a, a big difference between walking uh, Camino in my hiking shoes and walking Camino in uh, Gore-Tex uh, hiking boots. I don't think it's necessary to, to have a Gore-Tex shoes unless you want to walk a Camino uh, in winter between November and March uh, when you very likely get a lot of rain. Yeah, I, I, I'd say I was more comfortable in my hiking shoes because just because uh, I wear them more and uh, the Gore-Tex shoes the uh, last time before today I wore more than two years ago. I, I was just not as comfortable and my feet are not the, uh, used to the shoes. But other than that, and well, I think my feet are a little bit warmer in uh, Gore-Tex shoes than they were in my hiking boots. But I, I can't say that they really sweating. And well, I'm, I, I'm wearing again the, my Merida wool socks, the Danish endurance socks that I always wear. I always, always in the recent years, I always wear these, these socks when I go hiking or when I walk the Camino. So now I have one more pair of shoes, uh, trail running shoes, Salomon trail running shoes to try on the Camino. And well, after that, I can really give you a detailed comparison of walking the Camino de Santiago in wearing different shoes, uh, hiking shoes, uh, Gore-Tex hiking boots or trail running shoes. Uh, it's me again uh, on the Camino, on the Portuguese Camino de Santiago. And today uh, it's another short day for luckily for me. Uh, around 15 kilometers I'm walking and today I'm walking in my Asics trail running shoes. And I still, I'm so happy that I managed to actually fit my uh, merino wool socks with the shoes because well, uh, the, the shoes are the hiking shoes and boots I usually buy but the size bigger because I, I'm, I, I wear them with, with thicker socks but the trail running shoes 
they're usually quite tight fit. But I've walked about one kilometer in them and it feels good. Nothing is chafing me. And yes, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And of course, mostly, most of the day, if not all the day, I'm going to walk on, uh, on cobbles on, uh, on the road. It's, uh, I think it's a good, quite challenging day for, for my shoes. Uh, I walked seven kilometers on, on the Camino in my trail running shoes. And it's been the, whole seven, the entire seven, seven kilometers on cobbles. So, and, uh, well, I start feeling that, I don't know, my, my, my right, right shoe start chafing me a little bit, right uh, shoe. Well, yes, let's see. I, I'm not sure, maybe it's because the shoes uh, sit very tight with, with the merino wool socks. But yes, I'm quite happy that I have a, a short walking day. I'm not sure if I would be able to walk uh, today in these shoes 30 kilometers like I walked two days ago in my hiking shoes. Uh, I finished my walk for, for the day. It was uh, one kilometer longer than I thought and, and I walked oops, 16, 16 kilometers. And well, uh, out of 16 kilometers, uh, 14 uh, I walked on uh, cobblestones. Uh, which was really, really uh, hard on my on my feet. And yesterday I was walking in my trail running shoes. Well, uh, I must say by the end of the walk, my feet started getting like, you know, like a little bit of a pain, like a, uh, especially on my heels, like a needle kind of thing. I think that's probably from walking on cobblestones. Uh, we had exactly the same problem uh, when we walked the Portuguese Camino from Lisbon. We were walking it in our trail running shoes and after one week of walking and the heat on the cobblestones, our feet were pretty much destroyed. Uh, so since then, I've never walked any Camino de Santiago routes in, uh, <laughs> in the running shoes. Well, I finished walking uh, Camino de Santiago uh, three days and three different shoes. And uh, now I'd like to give you my my thoughts of walking the Camino in uh, in hiking shoes and the running shoes and then uh, Gore-Tex hiking boots. I'm just gonna show you again the shoes that I wore. So these are my Merrell hiking shoes, so my Asics uh, running shoes and uh, Salomon Gore-Tex hiking boots. And I wore Danish Endurance Merino wool socks with all the shoes. But I wear, wear always the socks, uh, well, in the recent years, so walking the Camino de Santiago. So, and I think I'll stay loyal to, to my pre preference. Uh, I, I, I really like and I prefer walking the Camino de Santiago in uh, hiking shoes. Well, for me personally, they it just they work the best. Um, they are the most comfortable for different uh, surfaces, for different grounds. And, well, uh, yeah. So for me personally, hiking shoes are the best option to wear for walking the Camino de Santiago. My least favorite, uh, again, um, running shoes, the trail running shoes, because, well, I walked uh, the last day out of three days in my running shoes. And by the end of the day, actually, when I took off my shoes, I had blisters of my both heels. And the, the walk not, wasn't even that long. It was uh, around 16 kilometers compared to the day when I walked in my uh, hiking shoes and I walked 30 kilometers. So I just think for some reasons, maybe it's my feet, uh, but uh, running shoes or trail running shoes, they don't work uh, for me on the Camino de Santiago. As for the Gore-Tex shoes, it was fine. It was okay to walk in the Gore-Tex shoes. It was not, nothing in particular, I can say like uncomfortable or it just, I think it's just a little bit too, too big maybe and unnecessary to, uh, for walking the Camino during the um, summer months. But if you want to walk the Camino in winter time, I'd say a Gore-Tex shoes will be the, the best option for, for winter. Uh, as for weight, I actually weighed all, uh, uh, all the shoes. And uh, so obviously running shoes, they're the lightest ones. The one uh, running shoe, uh, I'm talking about my shoes uh, in particular, uh, 
So the weight of uh, one running shoe is 240 grams. When the hiking shoes, uh, it's 295 grams. Uh, and the Gore-Tex hiking boots, the heaviest, they're almost 100 grams heavier than the hiking shoes. So the weight is 386 grams. So uh, I know that many people say that the Gore-Tex shoes, um, they're just too heavy. They, they are heavy, but well, yeah. So it's not that much heavier that you, you really feel the weight on your feet. Well, that's it. And I will put in the video description um, models and links to Amazon store where you can uh, buy them and just check them online for all the shoes that I wear for, the, for walking 